Hello my lovelies! Today I finally wanted to film a video that I promised you I will film quite a while ago and I'm talking about a sunglasses collection. I The reason why I haven't filmed it for so long is because I was kind of thinking how am I going to do it? Am I going to make like a little lookbook video or should I talk you through each of the pieces? I've decided to try on every single pair, show you what it looks like on me and just say like a sentence or two about them just so you know what kind of sunglasses I like, why I like them, why I maybe don't like them and so on. My favourite sunglasses brands are Celine, Dior, that sounds like Celine Dion, right? Celine Dior and Fendi. I think so, yeah. Those are probably the ones that I have most of. I'm gonna group them into the different brands, just kind of how I did my handbag collection video, which you can watch in this corner here. So let's start. I'm gonna start with Celine. I have four pairs of Celine glasses and I'm gonna start with Audrey. It, this is actually the new Audrey ones. I think they're a little bit bigger, a bit more square, and I just simply love these. They're classic. I spoke to you about these sunglasses before. The reason why I love them is because they kind of are go-to pairs. They're not too crazy, not too funky. They're simple black, classic shape, and pretty much go with everything. So even if I'm going to the gym and it's really sunny outside, I would put these on. Next pair of Celine sunglasses are probably, I think it's my first pair ever, and they have this kind of like metal bit in, in between instead of like plastic which makes them a little bit more special but to be very honest with you I got a little bit bored of them I haven't worn them in a while and I'm even thinking of maybe selling them because I'm just not wearing them that much because yeah they kind of bore me now <laughs> my favorite pair of all the Celine's that I've got are these ones and I've spoken about these before as well I'm sure you've seen them in my favorites they have like a burgundy top they're cat eye but a square cat eye and then they have a tortoise shell here like pay attention to the beautiful glass it's like darker on the top and lighter at the bottom which i absolutely love i think it's such a kind of like statement piece and what i love about them is they're so firm and they never fall off my head they're just simply not giving me a headache so they're just perfect holiday sunglasses for me last celine sunglasses that i've got are these ones and this model is called shadow I love these. I mean, they are a little too much sometimes, so they look really kind of like big, and like they're really hiding your face. They're also really stable, and they also have that kind of lighter at the bottom, darker at the top effect. These ones are navy with a burgundy top. I think the model is just beautiful. I might also get the newer one of these. It's a little bit smaller glass and a bigger frame. I just love these. I think they're so cool, so statement, and yeah, I think they're pretty perfect. I'll move on to Dior. The first, I think like of the most kind of recent Dior Sunnies. The first pair I got was So Real. It's exactly basically the same as this. This is the So Real model, the one that doesn't have also the nose kind of bridge, but it's just like goes really high. It's a very, very cool model. I think they look amazing. These ones are mirrored and it's like they have like the blue silver effect. Absolutely love them. I think they're very cool, very wearable. Also really like firm on my head, but I often wear them like this kind of because I feel it's a bit cooler. Um, I love these and they are, I think, my absolute favorite of all the Dior's I have. However, I must say that I had them in black as well and those were my absolute favorite. Those were like the first kind of like so reels that I got and I got them so long ago when they just came out and I left them last fashion week season in an Uber and the guy kind of pretended that I didn't and probably stole them, which is so sad. I got them in silver and these are pretty fantastic. I just love Dior sunglasses. The next pair of Dior's I got are these kind of golden ones and they are called So Reflected. And they're not that mirrored, but they are kind of similar type, just a little bit more feminine, I would say, comparing to the So Real. I really like them. I got these as soon as they came out because I was actually searching for So Technologic, which I couldn't find anywhere in London. And wherever I went, everyone was like, girl, that's sold out, like the moment it got on the shelf. So we don't have them so I got these instead and I'm really happy I did get them however I was still searching for Technologic until I finally found them in Milan during Milan Fashion Week in Milan I always find the best best selection of sunglasses so in case you're wondering Dior Technologic are these ones and I'm sure you've seen these as well I think this is how you can see them the best they're very thin mirror kind of like cool 
uh, sunnies. I just love them. I think they're brilliant and they're really statementish as well. So I was searching for them for so long, couldn't find them anywhere and finally found them in Milan. So I had to buy them. Uh, I just think they're absolutely amazing. And they're also like one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses that I have. The last pair of Dior's I only got quite recently, like maybe two or three months ago. I would say that these are pretty like south of France. They're chic and ladylike and kind of I don't know, I feel like you can wear these with a dress and like they have a very 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 dainty frame so you can't even see the frame if you have a look. They have the white brow bit and then the green um, lens which I think is just so beautiful. And I think that was my final pair of Dior's so let's move on to Fendi. My most worn pair of Fendi's are these and I think they're called Metropolis or Metropolitan, something like that. They're just beautiful kind of like, uh, I would say this is like a mixed kind of like caramel black and white color. Cat eye sunglasses, I love this detailing on the side. It's like in layers almost and they are just simply beautiful. They're absolutely my most worn. I just love them because they're so easy whenever I'm wearing kind of like something neutral or very simple outfit I just pop these on and they immediately kind of um, spice it up a little bit. And then even though it's not my most worn, it is my favorite pair of Fendi's, are the Fendi Iridias. I also have them in navy color, but I have to replace one of the crystals because I definitely didn't look after them at all. When it comes to these, they are a ballet statement. They are great for fashion week. They actually go really good with my outfit. And I think these are also very kind of cool, like very centropay, very trendy. Um, I love also the detailing on the side, which is very common for Fendi sunglasses. And I have another pair of these, which is very similar, but, my sister's confiscated them and now they're in her bag and she's at work so I won't be showing them to you today but when I got these and I got these I also got those so you probably know which ones I'm talking about. Okay so that was it for Fendi, Celine and Dior. Let's show you my Jimmy Choo favorite. You've seen these very recently in one of my hauls because they are probably my newest sunglasses and they are these really really cool um, Jimmy Choo, kind of like a round mirror but actually cat eye sunglasses. I really love them because they have different prints and almost look like they have a layered uh, leather around the lens. They're really beautiful, really cool and I just think also quite feminine if you like. Very trendy. I love these. My next pair of Jimmy Choo's is very seasonal. I don't wear these very often because I feel like they're festival perfection but of course if you will you can wear them whenever you like i just love love this metal detailing i mean it's so over the top but it's just how i love it and actually you can remove it it's very easy to remove so you can have just the like kind of gray um shadowed uh, sunglasses but i really like this and i often wear them i wear them at coachella i think they're festival perfection and kind of like for any crazy like or beach party or something like that these are really speaking for themselves let's move on to Miu Miu I only have these actually left in my collection and I'm not sure what they're called because I just recently sold another pair of Miu Miu's that I had and these have like crystals all along on the side like so glam and glitter I really like them I think they're absolutely beautiful also have kind of like shadowed lines just how I like it our cat eye and I think pretty simple but still have really nice detailing and sunglasses that all of you seem to tell me that are your favorite on me I'm not sure why but it seems that you guys think that these suit me the best of all and I'm talking about these Trussardi babies now it's very funny that you all think that these suit me the best because I haven't tried them on before I bought them but they're in my collection now and I'm wearing them a lot a lot a lot they have like a navy kind of tortoise um, plasticky frame around then the metal what are these things called like handle I don't know and just like really good for sun protection because they're quite dark they have a navy lens and I actually never tried to try these sunglasses before these but I absolutely love them they're very sturdy not too firm and just suit me perfectly next is another classic pair of sunnies and I'm talking about these Dolce and Gabbana babies they actually were very inexpensive. If I'm not mistaken, they were like under £100. I feel like I paid £98 for them at the duty free. And I bought them twice because first time I lost them and I love them so much that I really wanted them again. They have a beautiful cat eye. Then they look like they have layered plastic all around. Inside they're blue and orange. 
and then on the side they have like almost like a leopard print and it just says Dolce and Gabbana so this is what they look like They're also kind of very classic just like these and I often wear them when I don't know what to go for I got two pairs from Taylor Morris that I would like to show you and this is like a very cool London brand they are like two young guys who started sunglasses brand and they're making like very cool kind of fun glasses now I love these because they are mirrored but not too mirrored love them whenever I wear these also you always ask me where my sunglasses from they're very cool and yeah I just really really like these my other pair of Taylor Morris sunnies are completely different they are more of a cat eye oversized sunglasses they do have some sort of like reflective thing on the lens I'm not sure if you can see it it's like a bit of a goldish kind of reflection but it's not mirror and they are cat eye in just beautiful natural color I actually have never worn these but let me know what you think about them should I keep them let's see another very feminine ladylike classic piece of sunglasses is also the only pair of red sunglasses I own and I'm talking about these Cartier Trinity sunglasses so the Trinity collection is the one known for those kind of like rings that are um, enclosed together as you can see on the detailing on the side now these are very special they're quite expensive and I just think they are very different to everything else that I own they're kind of like oval shaped red and I think this is something perfect you should wear to like a polo event or where you're wearing like a really big dress this is like the only pair of sunglasses I feel like would fit almost a gown I completely forgot to talk to you about Ray-Ban it used to be my favorite brand for sunglasses but then sadly I'm not quite sure about its quality however these are my currently favorite and the only ones that I'm actually wearing from all the Ray-Bans I like them, I think they are quite cool and I maybe should even get them in the like dark ones my boyfriend actually has them with the dark lens I've got them in mirrored, I think they're really fun and yeah, I think every single blogger on earth has them um, besides those, I also have these aviators which also everyone on earth has so these I have in green, orange and blue and I'm not even gonna show you them because I'm like meh I'm also thinking of getting rid of these, maybe selling, maybe gifting, I'll see what I'll do with them but basically I just kind of got really bored of seeing these <laughs> Last but definitely not the least is another pair that you've seen on my channel before and these are Lispex Sunnies. I'm wearing these a lot lately. They're like very cat eye, very mirrored, similar to the Taylor Morris ones and your Technologic. I just really like them. I like that effect. I think it's very trendy. It's kind of like cooler than just mirrored. I love them. What do you think? That was a lot of talking in short period of time i hope you enjoyed these sunglasses please let me know what was your favorite pair do you think i should buy something because i have a lot of holidays coming up i'm thinking maybe about a new pair of dior's or a new pair of celine sunglasses so i don't know let me know what you think or is there something else that i should have leave the comment below and make sure to subscribe to my channel because i'm posting two videos per week thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye